In this video I'm going to use a core of a slipper and turn it into a small vase. Um, I used uh, the core of a slipper, the inside of the slipper, because the outside was too funky uh, to be used, even not with resin. And I'm designing uh, an idea of making a vase. Uh, you'll see there is a cross in the middle, and what happened is that I drilled uh, through uh, in two directions. So I've got four holes joining together, and it will be easier to put resin this way. Quickly, I'm doing... Um, a vessel for it, a container for it. Instead of gluing it, I just marked it with a knife and then I just warmed it up and it was easier to bend. And the resin goes into a pressure pot and we'll start working with it. Um, I put the tapes, by the way, so from the heat is not going to buckle to the side and then I'll be short of, uh, of resin. Uh, that height looks like two days later. And at the beginning, I'm going to just do a tenant on one side and turn it around and start designing the vase. On my design, what I want to do is, and I want to uh, remove wood as little as possible. So, on the area where I put the the resin, the the four holes with the resin, so I don't have to lose a lot from the wood. I think that I made a small mistake over there, that I made the holes a little bit too big. So, what I'm trying to do is uh, to take as little as possible from the thickness, so I will still have the pattern that I wanted to get from the wood. Now that I go to the right thickness of the wood, th that's the maximum amount that I'm allowing myself to take off. So the pattern of the wood will still stay there. I'm starting to uh, make the design that I was planning on, uh, that you saw over there on a piece of paper. Uh, you saw over there, almost I had a catch. Managed to get, managed to get out of it very quickly. Um, so the idea is on the right hand side, it will be the leg. And on the left hand side will be the the neck of the vase and at this stage I was thinking to myself do I do it this way or I turn it around but I decided to keep it I could turn it around and make the right side as the neck and the left side as the leg but I decided to keep it this way and I'm Doing a new design I never done before on, on a vase is that I'm creating a hump inside and I'm creating like a round mushroom type head. Keep it tight Love the world that 
keep the sky on your mind I wanted I want the leg thickness of the leg and the, and the neck thickness to be exactly the same so it will look um, symmetric From 120 all the way to um, 600, a friend of mine gave me his leftovers of um, the Yorkshire grid. And after the Yorkshire grid, I'm going to finish it with um, Hampshire Shin. I like to clean between every few few um, steps. I like to clean it with alcohol. It takes all the all the dust and all the purities out. Before I part it off, I'm just to I just want to do the original design and and see how it's going to look like before I part it, and then I'll part it. As I do a lot of project, um, I took a bicycle um, insert and I put it over the wood so in case that I've got a, a, a catch, it will not damage totally the, um, the leg, maybe it will leave a mark or two. So I'm putting a piece of um, tube, bicycle tube on top of it and just also gives me a better holding. I'll drill right through, not right through, right to the end, and um, I'll clean it up and I'll sandpaper it, and it will be quicker. Here I done something very un unconventional. I left the drill bit inside, the Fosna bits inside, to be as a support and also to be as a safety uh, because um, I was worried that it will jump out, and this way it did not. 
very unconventional. I don't know. I didn't see it anybody doing it. I don't know if it's right or wrong. It worked for me and it solved my problem at this moment because I couldn't put um, anything else inside. Has determined your fate I've never seen so clear I feel the end and it's near The day of reckoning's here The sound of death and in fear oh. The finish and um, it's exactly like on the other side um, Yorkshire grid, Hampshire shin And now what I'm doing is I found out there is few marks on the, on the leg So I'm doing a jump chuck And I'm going to repair it Level, so damn you better be careful I got an angel and devil He stabs me straight in the temple I'm ready to be a rebel I've got a lot of potential Hidden inside of this vessel That shit is so exponential I need a first class ticket to the top No limit, I don't play no gimmicks I'ma take you to the clinic If you want a taste, come at me and you will be replaced They won't find a trace of you anywhere or any place So oh. back to my channel thank you for sticking all the way to the end of it it's a small piece of uh, slipper um, I think this one is Maranti or Magoni or Rhodesian Magoni or something similar to that I don't know what the wood but it's definitely not a yellow wood it's quite dark and it stinks hell it stinks my wife told me I'm not allowed to bring it into the house it's got still you know they they treating the wood so it will be for a long time, So, but I think that this one, the smell didn't come out yet, I don't know why. So, look at this shape, I think it's cute. What do you think? What do you think? Let me know. Don't forget to put some comment. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell so you will know that I'm putting a new, a new video. And I will see you on my next video. Boom.